Okay, so let's take one last look at process automation. In this instance, we're looking at a dashboard and you see it says my approvals. This is asking for approval for a commission rate. If I drill through on the view, you notice there's an approve button. What is behind that? Let's take a look. By going to process definitions, this is where throughout the system, administrators can build any and all types of process definitions. The one we were just looking at was when the opportunity is closed, the manager needs to approve it. By drilling down into design, we can get a quick look at this. When an opportunity is marked close one, a notification is sent to the marketing team by creating a task. Also, managerial figures get an approval notification like you just saw on the dashboard. So what's behind these? By drilling down into these, you can see the settings and the action type and all the objects across the top here. Actions, stop the activity, send a message, receive a message, make a comment. All the different attributes are right here. If I navigate back to the menu bar, we can get a look at another process here. Here is a lead routing process, which we took a look at, e at earlier. Again, you can click on the eyeball down the side to see a preview of that process that we were looking at, along with the de definition and what's going on here with the process. You can see they can be enabled or disabled depending on your design process. You don't want to enable them, obviously, until you're complete. But nonetheless, we can go down the list and take a look at various different processes as part of the design to determine whether they're available, whether they can be reused, or whether they should be activated and enabled for the users. <clears throat> Another place process automation can be built is in the admin module. Scrolling down to the bottom, you see it says Sugar Automate. By clicking on the templates, we get back to yet another list view of guided templates. This is the flow diagram or playbook that you saw in the opportunity earlier. In this instance, you can see flow diagrams can be applied to various different attributes within the CRM system, such as opportunities, leads, contacts, or cases. If we look here at the yearly account planning process, you can see, again, it tells you a little bit about the process, or if we want to get into the full design client, we can drill through. In this case, this is showing us the entirety of the process. You can see certain stages can be set as meetings or checkpoints. In any event, we have a series of points that can be gathered and accomplished as part of completing each step in the process. In this case, it's a 240 point process. So the difference between process automation as process definitions versus these flow diagrams is smart guides is one is visual as it pulls you through the process. The other one is more of a push notification that pops up when things happen that you need to know about. In any event, we have very complete and powerful process definitions and smart guides to enable process automation throughout Sugar CRM.